everybody, Captain Bill here, the fishing sailor. Welcome to the first of our fish stories, the great grouper hunt. We've been posting about how great slow pitch jigging is, so here's a bit of a show to go with the tale. What better place to start a fish story than in a sushi restaurant? A small, crowded sushi restaurant in Charleston, South Carolina. We ended up sharing a table with a local couple, and conversation quickly developed when we found out he was a local charter captain, and they found out we lived on a sailboat. He shared advice that the best fishing for grouper and snapper around was actually inside a marine protected area that's officially closed to bottom fishing year-round. Interesting. I probably wouldn't go sharing my favorite illegal fishing spots with strangers, but it did leave us with a plan. We checked out the charts and identified the area he was talking about. We're not going to be fishing inside the closed area, but we did look around it to see if there were any promising structure nearby. Sure enough, our fishing chart shows a fairly steep drop-off north of the closed area that looks quite promising, where the depths drop from 150 down to about 300 feet. By the way, if you're fishing anywhere from the Florida-Georgia border north to Virginia, you really should check out these fishing charts published by Maps Unique. They're very detailed, extremely well-researched, and awesomely helpful in finding places to catch fish. I wish this level of information was available everywhere. So, while sailing our way north from Charleston to Norfolk on a beautiful sunny day, we stopped a bit north of the northern South Carolina area and started drifting and slow pitching a 280 gram Shimano butterfly jig in 200 feet of water. These lures are so good at imitating a wounded and distressed fish that you really have no idea what you'll hook next. Sometimes your catch is not much bigger than your lure, like this Banks sea bass, whose eyes seem an awful lot bigger than his belly. I know he has a big mouth, but that jig still seems a rather ambitious target for such a small fish. Bites on these lures frequently happen while they are falling down through the water column. The most successful jig fisherman is always staying in close touch with his lure and will always assume his lure has stopped falling because a fish has grabbed it, not because it, hit, it has hit the bottom. On this drop, I never actually reached the bottom. The jig was intercepted before it got there. Got it. I can tell right away this is not a tiny sea bass. For the past few days, I've been catching amberjack, like this one. And I can also be sure it's not one of those. It's not peeling off line at high speed, but rather I feel like I've hooked a bulldozer. Powerful, slow, steady pull. At least at the beginning, there's no stopping it. With 20 pound test line, I have little choice but to hang on and let the large fish tire himself out as it pulls out line. Eventually, the steady pull of rod and line take their toll, and I begin to gain line and move the fish toward the surface. But the surface is a long way away. Ten minutes later, he's up top, exhausted, ready for Karen to slip into the net. The fish is heavy enough Karen needs an extra hand, lifting the net over the rail. He weighed in at 30 pounds. This is a gag grouper, and they do not get much bigger than 50 pounds, so this is a really nice fish by any measure. Since a catch of this size has topped off our onboard freezers, once we had the fish cleaned and packed away, we stowed the fishing tackle and continued our sail toward Norfolk. In the week since, this fish has been our dinner guest several times, and always a very welcome one. So as always, if you like our videos, go visit our website, thefishingsailor.com. Check out what we have there. If you like the videos as well, check the little button down there and click it and subscribe. You'll get a notice when we have a new one. If our videos are fun and you've learned something, try this link up here, buy me a jig. Tight lines, fair winds, stay safe and have fun.